Greetings Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers! Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya and today we're talking about the new moon in Gemini! This is the intro video, so if you're watching this, good job, you should be watching this. And I have a forecast for every single sign, so if you want to watch that, it's there for you. Now, with that said, this new moon is interesting and I think that you're going to experience a lot of transformation. So by the end of this video, you're going to understand the three primary cosmic conversations happening that you need to be aware of if you want to use it to your advantage. And we're just going to do that thing where we like walk in the woods and talk about astrology, you know what I'm saying? Now, the two things that I want to draw your attention to first are that there is dreams come true energy happening here, people, but you have to build it. The whole theme of this new moon is that you have dreams that are not being authentically fulfilled in some way, shape, or form, and plus, plus sign, you have the opportunity to build on those dreams right now and to turn them into reality. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that because there's currently a Mercury-Venus conjunction in the sign of Gemini, which is where the new moon is happening, mind you, and that is in a conversation of tension or a square with the planet Neptune. Neptune is the planet that rules altered states and yes, it is the planet that rules dreams and also in this conversation with Venus, it's almost like you want something that's so beautiful that it's unattainable because it's in a square aspect to Venus. So Neptune being this like illusionary planet that can appear as anything it wants to, like a chameleon, in a conversation of tension with the planet of beauty. It's almost like there's something that's not lining up between what you feel is beautiful and what you authentically like already have as a person now it totally changes based on everybody's chart okay and if you want to watch in depth more on that for your sign I encourage you to do so okay but with that said you can build whatever is like feeling like out of alignment whatever's feeling like you don't have enough of it right now you have an opportunity to build on that my friend why is that because there's a positive communication happening oh it's so positive thankfully we have this as well right between gemini the moon itself that is happening at two degrees okay and jupiter and pluto in the sign of capricorn as well as saturn in the sign at one degree of Sag or excuse me Aquarius. So Saturn right now is in its own sign of Aquarius at one degree difference from the new moon itself happening at two degrees of Gemini. So that's a strong trine energy and that means that you can build those dreams because Saturn is the planet of building. Saturn is the planet of structure, okay? Saturn is your own inner boss and your own boss energy, period. So when it's in a conversation of flow with the moon, and given that it's a new moon, you have an opportunity to build on this period of time because the moon itself is in flow with the planet of karma, the planet of fate, okay? Planets of fate. You have Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn all there, the planets of fate and karma, okay? In good conversation with the moon. So if you want to use this moon to level up, my friend, I don't care what your zodiac sign is, you have the opportunity. And by level up, I mean build your dreams because Venus and Mercury are there. You have the beauty in your mind. You know what it is in your mind. Mind, Mercury, beauty, Venus. You know what it is you want. You have the communication ability right now too to put it into words if you want to. Why? Mercury conjunct Venus. You can. Venus is the tangible reality. It's the built environment around us. Mercury is the planet of communication and also wit and figuring things out. Also the planet that rules skill. Gemini is the sign of skill. Okay? So you have Mercury in its own sign of Gemini and it's conjunct Venus. Beauty. And it's in attention to Neptune, what you appear to be seeing, illusions even could be that thing. And also like dreams, like what you want to manifest that is beautiful. Neptune allows us to tap into energy like that is so ephemeral, it doesn't ab adhere or abide by the rules of the third dimension. It's like lucid, it's like astral, okay? So you have this fluidity coming in with all these beauty and these ideas and it's almost like a dreamers like rose colored glasses type energy but at the same time between this like tension of like this recognition like you know what things just aren't lining up between what i really want my inner dreams and what i actually have you have this opportunity right now to build what it is you actually have and what it is you will continue to have because you have the lords of fate and karma Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn in a good conversation, a conversation of ease, I should say, because no conversation is inherently good or bad, right? But 
you are gonna have an opportunity to build if you take it, my friend. So I hope that this served you. Before you leave, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Why aren't you subscribed? You need to be subscribed. And if you want a reading, you can get that from me. Uh, just email me at wisdomdrops, that's all Z's at gmail.com. I'll tell you the deets. If this video brought you value, hit the like button and don't be shy. Share it with a friend if you think it's gonna serve them. Now, I hope that you take advantage of this new moon. And with that said, I'll just leave with may the stars be with you. Peace.